on this morning's Health Watch, keeping kids safe at camp. Every summer, parents are concerned about how their children will do when they head off to camp. And this summer is no different, especially as the H1N1 flu remains in headlines. Our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, has some tips on what some camps are doing to keep their campers safe. Welcome to summer camp. More than 11 million children and adults attend summer camp each year. And since this is my son's first year, here's what I've packed him. Prescription medication, which will go to the infirmary as soon as he arrives. Sunblock, very important. Hopefully he'll use it. Hand sanitizer, I'm a big fan of, to prevent germs. Something for fun, and of course, everything has to be labeled. And lastly, his comfort item when he gets homesick, and I've sprayed it with a little of my perfume to remind him of me. It's all set. We're here in the camp infirmary, which might get quite a lot of activity this H1N1 camp season. Two tips for parents sending their children to camp this year. Firstly, if your child has flu-like symptoms at the beginning of the camp season, please communicate that with your camp's nurse or doctor and probably delay sending that child until he or she is better. And secondly, don't be surprised if you do get a call from the camp nurse or doctor that your child may need to be isolated or sent home briefly if he or she comes down with the flu. Clean hands. Mealtime at camp can be particularly stressful for children with food allergies. If your child has an allergy, make sure you communicate that with all camp personnel and ask if an EpiPen is present at every meal. An estimated 8 out of 10 children report being homesick at least once during the camp season, so try to have a letter arrive early. Also, getting mail from family and friends can make a big difference. And most importantly, don't forget to have fun! And one more word of caution, Harry, from Andy, the camp director here. Mm. Parents should not tell their children that they will pick them up if they get homesick. You really want to give the kids a chance to give it a try. They're stay away from home. That's right. You have to stay there for the rest of the summer and be miserable. <laughs> and have a great time. Oh, like have these a great guys time. I'm sorry, I got that wrong. I got that wrong. So I can't believe it. You actually packed hand sanitizer. Do you have any expectation whatsoever that your child will use it? Slim to none. Oh, I'm yeah, exactly. That he will. <laughs> Mind you, I carry that in my handbag sometimes. Right. Because I have to shake hands with so That's many right. people. Mm -hmm. mm. And yeah. you know, there are a lot of germs at camp. This camp is very well equipped to prevent any kind of outbreaks, but you're, you might see it, and so the hand sanitizer should be everywhere. There you go. You look like you look like the one who's ready for camp out there in the kayak. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah I'm okay. a celebrity doctor. Get get me out of here. <laughs> That's right. It is beautiful up here, and we're having a great time. Uh, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, as always, thank you so much.